Well, uh, it's time for statistics again to tell you that in 2007, a combination of the Center for Disease Control and the Journal of the American Medical Association came out with a full-page article, full-page article in the USA Today. I think it was like February 5th, 2007. And um, the, the headline was Patient Protect Thyself. I mean, we're talking as big as World War II, you know, Japanese attack on Pearl Harbor. This is a huge headline, bold, and it's saying Patient Protect Thyself. And um, between the... Journal of the American Medical Association and the Centers for Disease Control, the federal agency that tracks this kind of stuff, uh, the, the big item was each year in America, medical doctors kill, injure, and infect 15 million of their customers, patients in their workplace, 5.8 million in hospitals, and 9.2 million in their private office and clinics. Now, how many of you would fly commercial airlines if you knew that they killed, injured, and infected 15 million passengers? Every Nobody would fly. Everybody would take Greyhound and Amtrak. And then... Let's see, that was 2007. Well, I've got to go backwards here, retro. 2006, there was a big study, and they said this is an annual figure, a yearly figure, that uh, prescription errors, prescription errors, and they're not talking about the side effects of the drugs. They're talking about decimal point problems by the prescribing doctor and dosage problems by the prescribing doctor, uh, problems with um, dosage uh, versus what it says in the label as a result of pharmacists who don't do it correctly, uh, that amounts to 1.5 million, 1.5 million uh, deaths and permanent injuries every year. 1.5 million deaths and permanent injuries every year just for decimal point problems in the prescription. And then, let's see here, in 2008, in 2008, um, there was a comparison, and, and the FDA and uh, the pharmaceutical industry have been yelling about this forever. They wanted the annual adverse events reports for herbs and vitamins and minerals published. And, of course, the industry uh, uh, resisted, resisted, resisted. Finally, they were overwhelmed by everybody. And in 2007, uh, they were recorded, reported in 2008. And they said there were 600 adverse events reported for herbs, vitamins, and minerals, dietary supplements, a.k.a. dietary supplements. That included herbs, vitamins, and minerals. 600 adverse events, no fatalities. We're talking about diarrhea when you uh, took too much vitamin C, rashes when you took too much niacin, vitamin B3, and then people would get rapid heart rate when they take in things like guarana, uh, which could be put into certain um, antidepressant uh, sort of uh, nutrition and herbal combinations. And uh, they said 600 adverse events in 2007, no fatalities. That same year, 2007, the pharmaceutical industry um, let's see, he recorded 487,100 and something or other. It's just short of 500,000, just short of a half a million. They're all fatalities. Okay. Now, why is it that they're screaming about 600 adverse re- events, which are just sort of transient diarrheas and skin rashes, versus 487,000 deaths each year because of prescription drugs? Well, the reason is, of course, the newspapers and the media get more advertisement from the, from the pharmaceutical industry than they do vitamins and minerals and herbs, right? You just count them on TV. Every other ad on TV is from a pharmaceutical, and like one out of a thousand ads is for a vitamin. It just doesn't make sense because there's not, not that much profit in selling vitamins and minerals and herbs. It's they're a very, very uh, slow margin. margin. And so basically what you have to do is say, okay, look, where is the danger? The danger is, of course, in the pharmaceuticals. If you look up all the FDA-approved pharmaceuticals, look, every one of them, there is no exception, with the exception of, I guess, suppose, with the exception of antibiotics, which can cure pneumonia, can cure strep throat, that kind of stuff, by killing the bug. With the exception of antibiotics, every other drug in the um, uh, PDR, physician's desk reference, let's say there's 250,000 pharmaceuticals, prescription drugs, and 500 more antibiotics. So you take out the 500 antibiotics and the other 249,500 that are left, there's not a single one of those that cures anything. It all just treats symptoms. So there's no law requiring the pharmaceutical industry or the doctors to cure you when there's a cure available. And so I urge you to check out your options. Contact um, your naturopathic uh, physicians. Contact your Yongevity Association members, your Yongevity associates, and say, look, uh, my medical doctor wants me to do this, this, and this. I'm a little nervous about all the medication. Uh, can you give me a uh, reasonable option that uh, is uh, with supplements of vitamins and minerals and herbs? Well, of course, that's what your um, longevity associate can do for you. Uh, we actually have a 
a set of books called the Trilogy of Books, Let's Play Doctor, Let's Play Herbal Doctor, and the Passport to Aromatherapy, and you'll learn how to deal with over 900 different diseases using vitamins and minerals and trace minerals and rare earths, amino acids, fatty acids, herbs, and aromatherapy oils. That's the Trilogy of Books, Let's Play Doctor, Let's Play Herbal Doctor, and the Passport to Aromatherapy. And they also teach you how to do your own physicals. I haven't been to a doctor with me being the patient in 65 years. I'm not dumb, so I do my own physicals, and I teach you how to do that in the book, Let's Play Doctor, one of the three books in the Trilogy of Books, Let's Play Doctor, teach you how to do your own physical, how to translate the numbers from your doctor's lab test he does for you. And what I want you to do is say, okay, I'm going to do my own physicals. I'm going to take care of myself. I'm going to supplement with the platform of the 90 essential nutrients, put it all in my car before the engine burns up. I want to be like Wallach. I haven't been to a doctor in 65 years. If everybody in America were like me, we'd save 90% of our health care costs and the medical system who are a monopoly, a protected, self-policing monopoly, the medical system would be very humble if nobody went to them. We're back after these minutes. Aromatherapy oils have been prized by ancient cultures for thousands of years. Longevity's ancient legacy, True Aromatherapy, is no exception. Essential oils are the fragrant life essence from plants that are gently removed through the process of steam distillation. Longevity's ancient legacy essential oils are of the purest concentrations from the most respected and ethical distillers worldwide. Many ancient legacy oils come directly from families in the East which have been distilling essential oils for over 100 years. Keep Ancient Legacy's tea tree oil in your medicine chest for first aid. Tea tree oil is great for soothing the itching and stinging associated with insect bites, burns, scrapes, and other skin irritations. It's also effective as an antiseptic. To learn more about aromatherapy and essential oils, contact your local Longevity associate today. And don't forget to ask about business opportunities. Numerous studies have shown the link between the intake of antioxidants and disease prevention. Foods and supplements are measured in an auric scale. Auric is an acronym for Oxygen Radical Absorption Capacity. In other words, the ability to remove disease causing free radicals from the human body. Longevity Cell Shield RTQ has an auric value of 15,800 points per serving. Cell Shield RTQ contains resveratrol, known as an anti aging compound, turmeric, known for promoting healthy digestion, brain function, immune system, and cellular longevity. Quercetin, a flavonoid, is known for promoting healthy blood sugar metabolism and healthy lung and cardiovascular function. Remove free radicals from your body with Cell Shield RTQ from Longevity. If you'd like to learn more about nutritional supplementation, call your local Longevity associate. And don't forget to ask about home-based business opportunities. When you perspire, working or playing, your body is losing more than just water. That's why it tastes salty. But what you're sweating out is more than just salt and potassium, as some sports drinks will have you believe. One of the most well-known sports drinks only has two nutrients, and it's loaded with sugar. Some have a mineral or two with a couple of vitamins. Longevity's exceptional sports drink, Rebound FX, is chock full of cancer-fighting antioxidants, a full spectrum of vitamins, plant-derived minerals, and herbs. Rebound FX is a highly absorbable liquid supplement that gives you quick, sustained energy. Rebound Rebound FX supports cardiovascular health, immune health, and boosts stamina and energy. Don't short yourself during and after your workout with just a couple of nutrients. Drink Longevity's Rebound FX for optimal health. If you'd like to learn more about nutritional supplementation, call your local Longevity associate. And don't forget to ask about home-based business opportunities. Through his research as a veterinarian, Dr. Joel Wallach discovered that most health problems afflicting livestock can be prevented and even reversed. Many of these same health challenges also occur in humans. These too can be prevented and reversed. Doc's original formula called the pig arthritis formula alleviated all arthritis symptoms in animals. The same basic formula has been developed for humans called the pig pack which includes plant-derived minerals, a multiple vitamin complex, glucogel, and EFAs. Add to that Longevity's Osteo FX Plus, a proprietary blend of liquid calcium, magnesium, and glucosamine. 
Now you have the Pig Pack Plus to make up the 90 essential nutrients Dr. Wallach has identified as necessary for sustained good health and longevity. If you'd like to learn more about nutritional supplementation, call your local Longevity associate. And don't forget to ask about home-based business opportunities. You've listened to physician and veterinarian Dr. Joel Wallach help many people on the Dead Doctors Don't Lie talk radio program. You've also heard hundreds of people tell how Dr. Wallach and Longevity products have changed their lives. If you're now convinced that Dr. Wallach is onto something and you want to try Longevity's premium quality products for yourself, we can connect you with a distributor that serves your local area. Simply call our special helpline voicemail at 313-444-3463. That's 313-444-3463. Call right now and leave your name, telephone number, or email address, and we'll see to it that the right person contacts you shortly. Remember, the phone number, 313-444-3463. That's 313-444-3463. Call now to change your life. That's 313-444-3463. Okay, Doug, what pearls of wisdom do you have for us today? Well, i got a story here that I got out of a local newspaper here in the Bay Area that is uh, called the Contra Costa Times, and the headline is, Drug Companies Pay California Doctors Millions for Speaking Meals and Research. And they outline a specific doctor here, Dr. Moshi Lewis, who uh, is one of hundreds of California doctors who bank on uh, lucrative pharmaceutical companies. It Just since '09. This uh, particular doctor, he is a pain management and rehabilitation practice. He's gotten more than $224,000 from five different drug makers for speaking, consulting, travel, and meals in California alone in that same time frame from 2009 to 2012. Big Pharma paid doctors and researchers and institutions more than $241 million. Of course, the critics say... Uh, could raise con conflict of interest questions. Are doctors giving you a drug because you need it or because they're getting paid? And they say it does uh, this money actually affect research results. Uh, doctors and researchers stoutly deny the influences, uh, money influences them. According to Dr. Arthur Chanzel Jang, uh, an infection control specialist with UCLA, uh, he says uh, pharmaceutical companies used to take doctors to dinner. But that was banned years ago. Now they must provide some educational content. You know, the educational content that they're providing these doctors is just what the drug company wants to tell them. And this whole thing it came about as part of a uh, story that came out on ProPublica.org. You can actually go to that website, and there's a place in, in the context of this show or, or this particular story where they say that uh, you can actually take and print, put in your own doctor's name and it'll uh, they've created a huge database and it'll tell you whether or not your doctor's taken any money from these drug companies or, manu or the manufacturers of these medical device companies. They say California received more drug money than any other state, exceeding 10% of the $2 billion paid out nationally. Uh, that was only partial accounting covering these payments from 15 companies such as Merck, and Johnson & Johnson, GlaxoSmithKline, AstraZeneca, uh, representing 47% of U.S. drug sales in 2011. And, you know, if you remember, uh, most of these companies have been involved in having drugs recalled. Uh, of course, uh, Johnson & Johnson settled a uh, $10 million lawsuit, and uh, that was, of course, uh, from those uh, metal hips that started falling. Uh, ten million apart. or ten billion? Uh, ten million. That was just to one individual, though. Oh, well. And uh, uh, they later in this story, they go on to this uh, doctor that they outlined. This Lewis says, "Oh, I, I try to align myself with companies that I find to be ethical." Well, he took money from Johnson and Johnson. It's been all over the newspaper that Johnson and Johnson knew they had a problem with those hips before they ever put them out on the market and went ahead and hid the negative test results, hoping that they could sell more of them and get their money back on their. R&D before the lawsuit started rolling in. In 2011, uh, this guy got 76000 plus uh, speaking in fees and 27000 plus from AstraZeneca, over 20000 for speaking, and uh, 
over 3000 for travel from Eli Lilly, uh, 7000 uh, for uh, speaking, and, 90, and just under okay, 1000 for question, Johnson & Johnson. Question. You said the $241 million, that's just California alone? Yes, that's California. Nationally, that number is over $2 billion. $2 billion. Billion with a B, yeah. Oh, wow. And that's these doctors. That, oh, yeah, it doesn't affect our judgment. How would it not? <laughs> I mean, if somebody's paying you to go speak for their product, you're not going to go out and say, oh, that's a bad drug. I will give that to my patients. Well, just not saying anything is a positive in the public's eye, right? Yeah. You know? And so, yeah, you're, you're exactly right. And I really appreciate you bringing that to the light. And this is just one more nail in the coffin of the medical system. Um, Doug, you're a sports fan, right? Yeah. How much trouble does a professional baseball team have to be in before they change the pitcher? How much trouble does a professional football team have to be in before they change the quarterback. Hey, then locally they changed ours just because he had a concussion and the next guy to step up started doing a little better than the, uh, the starter guy. He got benched and traded. <laughs> well, it's time we change the medical system because they kill, injure, and infect 15 million of their customers every year. They're getting a ride. They're getting a free ride because nobody's going to jail. Nobody's getting their license suspended for three seconds. They're a protected monopoly. And the best way is not to use them. Let's head to San Antonio, Texas, and Jimmy, you're on with Dr. Wallach. Well, Jimmy, you're on the air. Uh, good day, Dr. Wallach. I'm calling about my mother um, to give you an update for the two weeks update on the program. Mm -hmm. Okay. And I, want, I have a question of concern. It's on the blood pressure yesterday. It's, it's starting to drop a little low. Uh, this morning it was like 114 over 50. Um, the sugar is pretty consistent between 100 and 120. Uh, every once in the blue moon, it'll, it'll spike up uh, to about 200, but that's probably because something that she took, like a small sip of orange juice. Um, and the other thing was this morning, she told me that uh, she felt like her brain, she was experiencing some pain in the brain. Like It was like nothing too tragic, but I didn't want to ignore it either. Sure. Well, if she has pain in her brain, she needs to uh, get an ultrasound of her head, uh, so you have somebody look inside there and see if she's got an aneurysm or anything going on in there, right? So that's something okay. that has to be looked at, and somebody has to determine what it might be going on in there. Is it a biochemical problem or is it a physical problem? We have to determine that first, and you don't want an aneurysm blowing out when you're treating her for just a headache, right? So it's okay. Im important that you get some diagnostics and see if there's anything going on inside of her brain like an aneurysm or something else, Okay. That's okay. number one. The sugar, I don't like it when it's uh, consistently above 100. I like it when it's consistently below 90. How much does your mom weigh? Um, right now she's about 225. 225? Yes. Okay. Um, is she taking Sweeties? Yes. Okay, and how much is she taking, do you know? Uh, right now you have her three Sweeties three times a day. Three, three times a day? Okay, well, I would go to four or three times a day, ramp up a little bit. That's still only going to be three bottles per month. And I would have her really look at her gluten intake. I mean, really, really, really work on the gluten. You know, dry dog and cat food, um, they use gluten uh, to yeah, as filler for pepperoni and salami and um, those kind of sausage-type things. They use um, wheat, barley, rye, and oats now as fillers in um, yogurt and ice cream. And I just heard yesterday, I have to track this down. I don't know if it's true or not, but I was told that uh, some coffee companies are using barley flour in the coffee to extend the coffee. In other words, coffee's getting very expensive, so they would keep their pricing down. What they do is just make it half barley flour and half coffee. And so you want to watch that. Give me a call. Let me know, uh, but uh, just ramp up a little bit on the sweeties. And she should, after all this time, she should be consistently below 90 on her sugar. And we'll be back after these messages. Okay, Doug, let's go to callers. Let's head to uh, Chicago, Illinois, and Diane, you're on with Dr. Wallach. Hello, Diane, you're on the air. 
Hi, Dr. Wallach. Um, I'm calling in reference to my cousin. She's 32 years old. She has fibroid tumors, and she's scheduled to have surgery tomorrow. Um, she's got uh, the, 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 they're four centimeters in, in width, and they're in the cavity of her uterus. So this is not the first time she's had surgery. So I'm just trying to find out what can she do to heal up her body so that she can stop having these surgeries because eventually she's going to have to have a, hyst a hysterectomy. Well, first of all, um, fibroids are not really tumors. Uh, they're not, they, they use the word tumor to scare women into getting surgery. Fibroids are the result of free radical damage to the very delicate uh, muscle and lining tissue of the uterus. And kind of like giant liver spots and giant age spots, essentially. And um, they, uh, again, are not tumors. They're the result of consuming too many fried foods, too many um, oils like salad dressings, mayonnaise, cooking oils, eating canned fish packed in oil, too many processed meats with nitrates and nitrites. This is what causes uterine fibroids, not fibroid tumors. Now, um, what I would do instead of surgery is... Um, uh, how much does your sister weigh? She's about 140, about 140. Okay, 140 pounds. So what I would do is have her take two Healthy Start packs per month. This is just a platform of nutrients. Um, it's going to give her um, the, the nutrition she needs just for everything in her body to work properly, including her immune system, which is probably one of her best friends in these situations. So I'd have her take one ounce of the Osteo FX Plus at breakfast and dinner, two scoops of the Beyond Tangerine Nutri Crystals at breakfast and dinner, three of the EFA Plus as a breakfast and dinner. All that will be accomplished by the two Healthy Start packs per month. Then I would throw in the Ultimate Selenium. I'd have to take three of those three times a day, three at breakfast, lunch, and dinner. That will be three bottles a month. And that is to support the immune system and recycle, help recycle glutathione. Uh, and glutathione is one of the most potent antioxidants produced by the human body. And so that's going to help prevent free radical damage and also help mop up free radicals that are already there and relieve a lot of the problems. Then, because this kind of falls into the dysmenorrhea piece, because there's usually bleeding and pain and pelvic pain and discomfort and all that kind of stuff goes along with it, particularly if she's cycling, um, what I would do is have her take what we call woman's FX. A woman's FX, at her body weight, I'd have her take two ounces a day, one in the morning, one in the evening. I would have her take her at like 10 o'clock with a glass of water and 3 o'clock with a glass of water. And the Woman's FX is a 150-year-old herbal blend that um, is just legendary for uh, giving support for healthy functions of the, of the um, um, various reproductive organs of the female. Women with PMS, um, menopause, dysmenorrhea need to be on Woman's FX. We'll be back after these messages. Let's head to Miami, Florida, and Umberto, you're on with Dr. Wallach. Umberto, you're on the air. Thank you, Dr. Wallach. How are you doing? Good afternoon. Fine, sir. Thank you. How can I help you? Yes, uh, I saw a video on Infowars.com. You were talking to Alex Jones about uh, Jerry Lewis, the MDA, yes. and, I, and I got very interested because my son, who's nine years old, has muscular dystrophy. Okay. He, his weight is about maybe 50 pounds okay and he's how nine years old you say nine years old yeah he's okay. about four feet and, tall and when was stuff. he diagnosed with muscular dystrophy how old was he uh, he was he was just about going to be four okay five years now ago. tell me tell me about his mother um does his mother have any skin problems any eczema dermatitis psoriasis rosacea anything like that no 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 does his mother have any history of asthma or bronchitis uh, not that I know of. Okay, I want to ask her that. Uh, does his mother have any constipation problems where she needs laxatives or fiber on a regular basis to have regular bowel movements? Uh, I don't think so either. Okay. Well, she, you need she, to ask her she's, that. She's, 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 pro she's probably constipated, but, yeah. but she doesn't take anything for it. Okay, so she maybe has, yeah, she, so she, she would say she's constipated, but she doesn't do anything about it. Right. Okay. Yeah, I believe that she has a gluten intolerance. Mm -hmm. Do you have any other children? I do. Uh, uh, by, not, the not same, the, by the same woman? Not, no, not the same mother. It's a different mother. And she okay, also has so she, this, is her only, this is her only child? Yes. Okay. Yeah, well, uh, has she ever had any miscarriages? Uh, no. 
Or okay. probably yes, probably yes, before I met her. Okay, before you met her, she may have had miscarriages. No, I, I, I know she had a couple of uh, abortions, though. Okay, well, that's not the same. That's not the same. Abortions are not the same as a miscarriage. Miscarriage, the pregnancy is going along, and she loses the baby uh, without an abortion. So you need to ask her those questions. I mean, she may not have you know, shared that with you earlier on, but you want to answer those questions. The reason why I'm asking um, is because almost always the mothers of kids with muscular dystrophy and cystic fibrosis have gluten intolerance, and they don't absorb stuff very well. Even if you supplement the mothers, uh, they don't absorb stuff very well. Now, one last question on your son here, and then we'll give, get into what we can do for him. Uh, was he a, a colicky baby? Did he cry a lot when he was a baby? No, 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 actually no. Okay, he was a happy baby, didn't, didn't complain very, about his belly, never had any happy. tummy pain? Uh, he w- once after eating, he wants to rest a little bit. So I'm sorry. Once after eating, what? He, he wants to go to rest, like taking a nap. Or, or okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, that's a little bit different. That's that could be a blood sugar problem. But at any rate, um, yeah, uh, this this is a uh, simple nutritional deficiency. And of course, we shared that with Jerry Lewis. We gave him uh, some copies of some cases that we're working with, where kids. Uh, had uh, been diagnosed uh, properly with muscular dystrophy, and uh, three, four, five, ten years later, we're able to work with them. And I can legally say support and promote healthy maintenance repair of the muscles, connective tissue, and so on. And for all practical purposes, um, he didn't have any symptoms um, uh, of uh, muscular dystrophy anymore. So we gave all this to Jerry Lewis. Say, look, Jerry, we're not interested in money. We, we've already solved the problem, we believe. Um, these kids are symptom-free after three to six months using our program. And um, so we would like you to be the one, if you're interested, to be the one to make the announcement that there is something that can benefit these kids with muscular dystrophy. After all, they're Jerry's kids. Everybody knows they're your kids. And so uh, we would just want to give you the opportunity. Well, I have a book coming out that's going to have all this information in it, and I'd rather have you make the announcement, and otherwise it's just going to be in the book. And so he got excited and uh, took the evidence that I sent him to the muscular dystrophy medical committee and, and insisted that they check with me. And, and he said, well, this Wallach's a nut. Look at, look at him on the Internet. He's a nut. And he said, well, I don't care if he's a nut. Jerry Lewis said, I don't care if he's a nut. So check it out. You call him, have him come down here to see you. You go to see him, whatever. Check out these kids that don't have symptoms anymore and see if there's anything to this. Well, they fired Jerry Lewis. They fired Jerry. The muscular dystrophy foundation fires Jerry Lewis after he helps him raise a billion dollars in telethons every year for 22 years. Well, that's why he has not been on. He cannot say anything because he has a non-disclosure contract with the Muscular Dystrophy Foundation. I do not have a non-disclosure contract. And so I can say what I believe to be the truth. And so um, that's the beautiful thing about America. Um, If I had a contract with him, I probably couldn't say anything. But I don't have a contract with him, so I can say what I believe to be the truth here. And... um, uh, it, it's, uh, it's something that we can. I'm, I'm looking for families like yourself who's willing to say, "Okay, can't hurt. We're going to give you know my son a little bit of a diet, cherry change, we'll give him a little bit of a supplement program. What can go wrong here, right?" So, what I'd like you to do is uh, put the whole family, everybody living in the house, including the dogs and the cats, have to be on a gluten-free diet. No gluten in the house. No wheat, barley, rye, or oats. That's going to maximize absorption by, if there is gluten intolerance there, the intestines will improve, will heal, and uh, absorption goes up. Then I want to get, have them get rid of all fried foods, uh, no processed meats with nitrates and nitrites, and no oils. It means no margins, mayonnaise, salad dressings, cooking oils, beets, canned fish like tuna, uh, sardines, salmon. They've got to be packed in water, mustard, tomato sauce, not oils. So four things, no oils, no um, processed meats with nitrates and nitrites, no fried foods, and no gluten. Then at 50 pounds, I'd have them take um, one healthy um, bone and joint pack per month, and I want him to take a half a dose of breakfast, half a dose of dinner. Then I'd also have him take our ultimate selenium, and the ultimate selenium, I'd have him take two of those twice a day. They're a little bitty sort of silver capsules. You can open them up and dump it in some applesauce and give it to them uh, twice a day. Two twice a day is one bottle a month of the Ultimate Selenium. And the, between the uh, supplement program, which is just a platform of all the known essential nutrients, kind of support the immune system, giving the raw materials to help support and promote maintenance repair of muscle, 
connective tissue, cartilage, ligaments, tendons, uh, all the stuff that are associated with muscular dystrophy. And, uh, you know, take a nice picture of him in a swimming suit from the side and the front, and then uh, take a picture of him, I'd say, every two weeks. Uh, make some measurements of his calves. Make measurements of his thighs. Make measurements around his hips and his belly and so forth. Uh, his muscles, have him flex his muscles and on his arms, take measurements there. And call me every two weeks, Umberto. Give me that data, and we'll walk you guys through this. I think you'll be pleasantly surprised, and uh, look forward to helping your son. Back with Dead Doctors Don't Lie on the ZBS Radio Network. Dr. Joel Wallach here for Young Jimmy and 90 for Life Crusade. And Doug, let's go to callers. Uh, let's head to Alta Loba, California. Ed Felicia, you're on with Dr. Wallach. Hello, Felicia, you're on the air. Hi, Dr. Wallach. Thank Hi. you so much for taking my call. You bet. What's up? I'm calling on behalf of my friend. Um, she has been diagnosed with rheumatoid arthritis. Okay. And I had the pleasure of hearing you speak in Newport. Okay. Uh, and you mentioned you had a two-week cure for rheumatoid arthritis. I'm very interested to hear more details about that. Um, Lisa currently weighs 110 pounds. She's lost about 40 pounds since... Uh, oh, she should be congratulated. Yeah. <laughs> well, she doesn't think so. <laughs> How tall um, is she? She's probably about 5'5 five, five or 5'6. Five, yeah, well, maybe at 5'6 she's a little slim. but uh, yes, She is. I yeah, think so, she's about five six. Yeah. Yeah, if she's five six, I'd like to see her one hundred and forty five, maybe. All right. But anyway, right. Um, let, we only have a few moments here. Let me go on. How long has she had rheumatoid arthritis? Do you know? It's been about a year since she started experiencing her first symptoms of it, but she's had um, pretty severe inflammation, yeah. and okay. now her hands and fingers okay, are starting to Okay. One last to question. How old is she? She's twenty seven. Okay. No. First of all, and I need you to write here because we've got to go quick to get everything in. Um, rheumatoid arthritis is an infection with a bug called mycoplasma. This is not unknown. The medical system has known this for at least 60 years. For 75 years, we've known it in the veterinary industry. We've eliminated rheumatoid arthritis in the veterinary industry 75 years ago. It's a simple infection with a bug called mycoplasma, which is susceptible to being killed within two weeks by an antibody called minocycline. Like minocycline um, is one of the members of the family of, of tetracyclines, and it's, it just works like a charm on killing the bug, mycoplasma, which is primarily a respiratory function uh, uh, infection. But when it gets into the joints, it creates rheumatoid arthritis. Rheumatoid arthritis is not autoimmune. It's not genetic. It is an infection. But then there's always, I think it's like 85% of the people who do get rheumatoid arthritis, as a statistic, 85% also have osteoarthritis, degenerative arthritis, bone-to-bone -bone arthritis. So after you kill the bug, it's going to take 60, 90 days to support and promote maintenance, repair, of the damage of the joint capsule, the tendon sheaths, the joints themselves, cartilage, ligaments, tendons, connective tissue, disc between the vertebrae, bone matrix, bone itself. And here's where the healthy uh, bone and joint pack come in. It will support and promote maintenance repair of all these tissues. And so at 110 pounds, I'd have her take one healthy bone and joint pack per month, divided in half, have her take, um, uh, let's see, uh, five, uh, that will uh, allow her to have three of the uh, glucogel capsules uh, twice a day. So I'd get her an extra bottle of glucogel, too, an extra large bottle of glucogel. I want her to have 15 glucogels a day. So she'll need a second bottle of glucogel by itself without anything else, and everything else she can get from that one healthy bone and joint pack per month. And uh, I want her to have 15 of the glucogel capsules a day, five at breakfast, five at lunch, five at dinner. And, uh, again, with that healthy bone and joint pack will come a jar of an analgesic cream, a topical analgesic cream. You apply it to wherever joint hurts her, and within five to ten minutes, she's going to get significant or total pain relief for three to four hours. And this is predictable as gravity. Uh, it works uh, like a charm. Uh, on occasion, people have, uh, uh, let's see, gluten intolerance, and they have trouble absorbing. And so if she has any skin problems like eczema, dermatitis, psoriasis, if she has problems 
uh, such as constipation or diarrhea, if she has respiratory problems, chronic bronchitis or asthma, then the odds are uh, that she's got a gluten intolerance. So she has to get on a gluten-free diet as well as absolutely no fried foods, no processed meats, no nitrates and nitrites, no oils, uh, certainly. Um, uh, and I would have her re- avoid carbonated drinks during meals because they do neutralize stomach acid and prevent the absorption, efficient absorption of minerals, which is important here. Now, personally, I don't like antibiotics. So before I would try the antibiotics, I would have her use what we call our killer body because a blend of eight herbs. Have her take three of those three times a day, three bottles a month. And if in a couple of weeks' time, the inflammation and pain and, and, um, uh, and inflammation, meaning the joints are all enlarged and, and puffy and hot, that doesn't go away or get better, get her on that antibiotic. It's called minocycline. Her rheumatologist reluctantly will give it to her if she asks. Then uh, call me every two weeks. Let me know how she's doing. We'll walk you guys through this because this is a disease that should not be in anybody longer, active anybody longer than two weeks. It's going to take 60, 90 days to support and promote maintenance repair of the joint and bone damage. Thank you, everybody. Great to questions and testimonies today. Thank you so much, Doug and Billy. Superlative job as usual. God bless each and every one of you. God bless our troops. God bless our Navy SEALs. And God bless America. Hi everyone, Andy Anderson here. Are you using those handy little bottles of gel that zap germs, bacteria, and other nasties? In today's world, that's smart, especially with all the filthy doorknobs, shopping carts, and handrails we touch every day. Here's what you may not know. Once the alcohol evaporates, goodbye effectiveness. No more protection until you use it again. Pure works to the rescue. Our FDA-compliant foam, lotion, soap, and spray do not rely on alcohol. Their killing power lasts up to four hours. Pure work disinfecting spray is EP certified to kill swine flu, bird flu, MRSA, HIV, hepatitis B and C, and a whole host of viruses and bacteria, mold and fungus too. It's even safe around children and pets. You'll love the soft feel of Pure Works on your hand. It actually conditions and will not dry your skin. Here's a little peace of mind knowing your hands are still germ-free hours later. Get your hands on Pure Works and get Pure Works on your hands. Stand by. Pull out your paper and pencil for your local number to order Pure Works. When those aches and pains in your knees, elbows, hands, shoulders, and back crop up, reach for Longevity's CM Cream. Put CM Cream on a Q-tip and put it in your ear canal for relief from headaches and sinus pressure. A topical temporary relief from minor aches and pains of muscles and joints associated with arthritis, strains, sprains, and simple back aches. Why take aspirin or non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs that can cause stomach bleeding and liver damage? Just apply CM Cream liberally to the affected areas, and within 20 minutes or so, you'll have relief from those nagging minor aches and pains. You'll feel better for up to four to five hours. So the next time you have achy joints or muscles, do what I do. Reach for CM Cream for relief. And for systemic relief, reach for CM Plus capsules. If you'd like to learn more about nutritional supplementation, call your local Longevity associate and don't forget to ask about home-based business opportunities. Hey, if you're like me, your life is hectic. You don't know where you're going to be next. Between kids and family and in-laws and work and traffic and everything else that's driving me crazy right now, my life is insane. I bet your life's insane as well. When do we have time to get every single nutrient we need to be healthy? When? Well, I've got a tip for you. Take a product called Pollen Burst. It's so simple, even I can do it. All you have to do is open the package, pour it in water, mix it up, and bam, you're ready to go. It tastes great. It's not one of those medicine-tasting things. It tastes great, low in calories, helps curb your appetite, gives you natural energy that doesn't let you crash, gives you your vitamins, minerals, nutrients, everything from the plant world. And I got to tell you, for a busy person like me or a busy person like you, we need simple, we need good Pollen Burst is your answer. Tastes great. Try it, and you'll feel better. Call your local Longevity distributor to find out how Pollen Burst can make you feel better. And don't forget to ask about home-based business opportunities. Listen to physician and veterinarian Dr. Joel Wallach help many people on the Dead Doctors Don't Lie talk radio program. You've also heard hundreds of people tell how Dr. Wallach and Longevity products have changed their lives. If you're now convinced that Dr. Wallach is on to something and you want to try Longevity's premium quality products for yourself, we can connect you with a distributor that serves your local area. Simply call our special helpline voicemail at 313-444-3463. That's 313-444-3463. Call right now and leave your name, telephone number, or email address 
and we'll see to it that the right person contacts you shortly. Remember, the phone number, 313-444-3463. That's 313-444-3463. Call now to change your life. That's 313-444-3463. 3463. Hi, this is Dr. Joel Wallach, your host of Dead Doctors Don't Lie. If you're interested in a colon cleanse, blood cleanse, liver cleanse, you know, in the classical herbal way, you want to ask your longevity associate for Herbal Rainforest. Herbal Rainforest has 16 herbs, 16 cleansing herbs, classic cleansing herbs, and 77 plant minerals. That's right, and these are all organic. It doesn't get any better than that. In your busy day, and you're around all these toxins out there in your workplace, on the way home, going to work, in your food, in the air, in the water, you need Herbal Rainforest. I guarantee you, it will give you a cleanse. You can control the dose. It's a liquid. It tastes good. It doesn't get any better than this. A colon that's happy makes you happy. Nothing better than a happy colon. Herbal Rainforest. Clean it out. For more information on this product or others you've heard about on the Dead Doctors Don't Lie radio program, call your local Longevity associate today. And don't forget to ask about home-based business opportunities. Greetings, everyone. Judy DeVilbus here. What do you think of when you hear the words tangy tangerine? Well, I think of like a sweet, tangy tasting something. Well, what I'm referring to is the ultimate tangy tangerine. It's a fantastic product. It has everything you need, and a great benefit is it's very, very delicious. It's very easy to drink. I've suggested it even to youngsters. Even children like it. Even little guys. Even little girls. They come right into my office. Their parents can't get them to take those chewable and besides that, they're not as good as tangy tangerine. And I give them a little taste of that, and you know something? They're pleased as punch. So, if it's good for a child and it tastes delicious, why not you? There's no excuse not to take a vitamin when it tastes as good as that does. So how about it? Tangy tangerine should be the answer to all of your nutritional program problems. For more information or to order, call your Longevity distributor today. And don't forget to ask about Longevity home-based business opportunities. You've listened to physician and veterinarian Dr. Joel Wallach help many people on the Dead Doctors Don't Lie talk radio program. You've also heard hundreds of people tell how Dr. Wallach and Longevity products have changed their lives. If you're now convinced that Dr. Wallach is onto something and you want to try Longevity's premium quality products for yourself, we can connect you with a distributor that serves your local area. Simply call our special helpline voicemail at 313 444 3463. That's 313-444-3463. Call right now and leave your name, telephone number, or email address, and we'll see to it that the right person contacts you shortly. Remember, the phone number, 313-444-3463. That's 313-444-3463. Call now to change your life. That's 313-444-3463. You've listened to physician and veterinarian Dr. Joel Wallach help many people on the Dead Doctors Don't Lie talk radio program. You've also heard hundreds of people tell how Dr. Wallach and Longevity products have changed their lives. If you're now convinced that Dr. Wallach is onto something and you want to try Longevity's premium quality products for yourself, we can connect you with a distributor that serves your local area. Simply call our special helpline voicemail at 313 444 3463. That's 313-444-3463. Call right now and leave your name, telephone number, or email address, and we'll see to it that the right person contacts you shortly. Remember, the phone number, 313-444-3463. That's 313-444-3463. Call now to change your life. That's 313-444-3463. 3463. I am Judy DeVilbus. Here I am speaking to you again. I just wanted to tell you that recently I started drinking the whey shakes again, the chocolate whey shake. And you need to remember the whey shake isn't just for losing weight. It's a fantastic place to get your great protein. And if you're trying to gain weight, you can take it along with your meals. And the best part is if you want to just have a great protein shake, do like I do. Put it over ice, stir it up, and you can sip on it for 20 minutes to an hour. I do it every single day. I absolutely love it. You need to get back to it, too. It's really good for you. And it makes 
not fat, but it makes muscle after you work out. And you can also mix it up in a blender with an egg and you have the most incredible health protein shake or mix it with a little water, stir it up, and you have a little pudding. And who doesn't like pudding? For more information or to order, call your Longevity distributor today. And don't forget to ask about Longevity home-based business opportunities.